All right. Next up, we are going to create some fields for the battle station object and also some new custom objects that will relate to the battle station object. And let's go. All right. So this is how it's going to look like. We have a battle station. We will have a resource object. It's time for war, baby. It's time for war. And then supply object and we will link it up together like that. All right. So let's get on. Battle station custom object. Okay, let's go create some fields. It's a project status field. So first is a project status field. I'm going to copy this guy here. And then I am going to choose pick list. Okay. Um, object manager, battle station over here, fields and relationships. New pick list is a pick list because we can pick the values. Pick list there. And it's a project status and enter the values there. Let's go. Green, yellow, red, complete. Boom. What else? Display the values alphabetically. Not the in the order is, is unchecked. So not alphabetically. Use first value as default value. Check. So use first value as default value. Check. Uncheck the restrict pick list. Okay. Uncheck the restrict pick list. Unchecked. Next. Leave the defaults. Next. And then save and new and H add to the page layout. So I'm going to hit next and visible for everybody. Save a new weapons status. Weapons status. Weapon status is a what do we have here? A pick list as well. So a pick list for weapons status. Boom. Next. Weapon status values are not yet operational, sir, or fully operational. Boom. And then display uncheck, check, and uncheck. Uncheck, check, and uncheck, like that. Next. Everything next. What's next after this? Resource custom object so we're done with the fields for the battle station so save and then we are going to create a new object go to your object manager here create a new object boom which is the resource object resource resources boom boom as what else do we want here Custom tab and then custom tab object resource. Yes. All right. Let's do that. So scroll down. Do we want to allow? Allow reports. Okay. So we are going to allow reports. Back here. Allow reports is checked. And create a tab there. Save. What tab do we want to use for resource? Let's pick some resource I would like to use I don't know chip that looks cool next and everything is on next and include tab save back here all right so now we are going to create some fields on the resource object so we have quantity what's the resource name we resource name record label resources Yep, everything is default, right? I just want to make sure we don't miss anything. So quantity is a number. Quantity is a number. Do we want to have a decimal on it? They don't say. They don't say a decimal. So I'm just going to make it zero probably. So fields and relationships. First, we are going to make a new quantity, which is a number over here number and quantity 
length decimal places is zero all right do we want to make it required yes required is necessary next all visible and then do we have a new field to create utilization field it's a percent utilization is a percent and it's also required there okay so save a new and make a new one is a percent this is the utilization of the weapon we are going to create don't tell anybody we have a weapon and do we have a decimal a decimal probably we want a decimal for utilization so 16 2 and it has to be required as well I think right required and should always blah 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 required checkbox yes sir next next and save oh battle station field battle station is a master detail to the battle station right Okay, so resource a new again, a new master detail relationship. This guy is gonna link up to a battle station. Related to a battle station, battle station, all hands on deck, all hands on deck, battle station, battle station. Everything is default, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm gonna leave everything as default and then just hit next and then next and then next and then uh, just save let's see go back here okay next we are going to make a supply custom object and it's just going to be allow reports and then make a new tab as well all right new object go to object manager create new object custom object it's called supply supplies not flight lice <laughs> okay allow reports and make a tab save it's also a name right it's not an auto number I hope I didn't miss anything it's not an auto number for the name it's just regular name so we're good there we're good go back here this one right yep it's kind of hanging reload the page okay object supply change this to a supply icon what do we want supply 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 i don't know gears let's just choose gears okay let's just choose one default on next include all the tabs and we are done fields and relationships what do we want for the supplies same thing we have quantity and it's required and it's a number and default value to two okay so let's make it quantity new fields and i am going to make a new field called quantity which is a number over here and a decimal is a required we want to encourage our user to order at least two of any supply so we'll set the default value to two okay default value to two here boom okay so quantity is like that who previous make it required right quantity is required right 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 yep required checkbox and don't forget that and then next next what else do we have a new one after this unit cost field 16 to decimal currency okay required unit cost go back here save a new 
unit cost is currencies is money. How much does it cost? Unit cost, 16 digits and two decimals. Two decimals is a required field. What else? Um, save and new. And then total cost field. Total cost is a formula. It's a currency formula. Okay. And then next. Next. Save and new. It's a formula. So it's adding or calculating the quantity and the cost, right? It's a currency. Two decimal. Basically, it's multiplying quantity times unit cost. So I want to show you, you you've should know this already, but I want to insert field here. Supply, right? You can choose quantity, right? Insert field there, multiply by cost. Um, supply, unit cost, insert. So you can do that, okay? And then check syntax. Do we want to put some description there? Not really. So let's just save and new. So next. Make it all visible. Next. Save and new. What do we have next is battle station field. So battle station is a master detail as well from the um, resource, a uh, supply, 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 master detail here. Next, battle station. Next, battle station again. Next, next, and next, and save. And that's it. So we have done this we created two new custom object one is the resource for the battle station one is the supply for the battle station okay the supply has a unit cost and quantity and the total cost is the formula which is quantity multiplied by unit cost the resource has utilization percent and the quantity so it's still a pretty simple app and we are done and let's verify the point and I'll see you on the next section and bada bing bada boom come on give me some points dude a hundred would be cool now give it to me BAM hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom